Opening in theaters this week from Sony Pictures, the action movie Bullet Train, starring Brad Pitt. And here's my review. David Leitch has established a directing career with fast-paced action films where characters fight their way through elaborate situations. With Bullet Train, he gets the opportunity to set most of his action in a single location, in this case a train speeding through Japan. With a game cast and a wild screenplay by his side, Leech makes sure there's always something going on in this movie, as we watch the characters participate in one ridiculous scenario after another. What's most appreciated about Bullet Train is its sense of humor. The movie takes very little of what occurs on screen seriously, and that plays a role in the film's energy. The action is purposely ridiculous as it jumps between various characters. There is a plot involving a briefcase, but it mostly serves as an excuse to get the fight scenes rolling. One does sense a Guy Ritchie influence, especially with two assassins played by Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry, who feel like they just walked off the set of Snatch. There is a heavy use of flashbacks, too, until one realizes these are also part of the joke. Of the actors, Pitt brings a natural and funny charisma to his assassin, who desperately wants to leave the business. He gets plenty of great one-liners and shows a skill delivering the physical requirements of the role. Taylor Johnson and Henry bounce off each other well, with the film making especially good use of the latter's genuine enthusiasm for Thomas the Tank Engine. Meanwhile, Joey King has a lot of fun in her own storyline as a cheeky youngster with her own tricks up her sleeve. Leech makes great use of the train locations, the characters move to different compartments, and despite having to follow many people, it never becomes too confusing or complicated. There's a general idea of where everyone is at any given moment. The way Leech films the action also deserves recognition, as he makes sure the audience sees each punch and knife stab, and he knows how to move the camera through the train and even outside of it when the scene calls for it. One starts to feel the length a little bit in the third act, but there's so much going on and a lot the movie is building towards, it makes sense why we spend that little extra time. The laughs also keep on coming as things get crazier and more outlandish. When you walk into a movie like Bullet Train, you should know exactly what to expect. The filmmakers are not attempting to make a deep, thought-provoking experience. The primary intention is to make a fast-paced, zippy action comedy using its single location for maximum effect. Even though it's easy to spot the primary inspirations for the film's writing and directing styles, Bullet Train still feels refreshing among the current crop of action movies. That's a credit to both David Leitch's poppy direction and Zach Olkowitz's no-holds-barred screenplay. Around every corner, something funny or bonkers happens, and the result winds up an entertaining way to spend two hours.